the way up along the coast, which will give some time the armies in the north to get ready for invasion. But this never actually happened, as neither Napoleon, which is in the rock, run in straight lines through the Berlin region, and they run from uh, the southeast uh -huh. to the northwest. That's long, that's long. You will fall, Manica. No, that's the Manica, Manica. As we now move along to this section of the cliff, you will begin to see some people possibly walking along the top. Up to 1.5 million people visit these cliffs on an annual basis, making them Ireland's second most popular tourist attraction after the Guinness Storehouse in Dublin. <laughs> The second most popular tourist attraction the after the Guinness Factory. The middle of April, up to the middle of July, over 40,000 birds nest, making it one of Ireland's largest seabird colonies. The largest family of birds in nest here are the Hawks family. And they consist of the guinea moth, the way the bird, the puffin. Yeah. Yeah. So we start with the puffin. The puffin is the they come here to nest, but they don't actually nest. They burrow the grassy area around the cliff, and then they mate in a pair. Let's look at them. The red cousins, the game on the way to them, look very around the boat. The crew will point out these birds from time to time during the voyage. They're quite amazing birds. The guillemot and the razorbill actually don't build any nests. They lay their egg directly onto the edge of the cliff, onto the cliff ledges. The egg is shaped in such a way that it cannot roll off the edge if one of the pair of these. If the egg were to fall over, it actually rolls off Some people on the top of the cliff. Rather than from left to right. And this is a safeguard mechanism because there's no nest to hold the egg inside. As we get a bit closer to the center or the highest point in the cliffs, if you look to your right, you should be able to see it as a cave. This cave on our right, the crew could point it out to you now, featured in Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince, which was the second last Harry Potter film to be filmed in the series. Another very famous film that was filmed here was the 1987 classic, The Princess Bride. In this particular film, these films are now in our body. Old Wesley and Buttercup and Hello. My name is Inigo Montoya. Don't kill my father, I'd have to die. If you haven't seen it, I look at it. 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 Look we built the tower for the many Victorian tourists to come and see the magnificent views from the top. I if you come to the top on a new day, you can see as far south as our county of Kerry, as far west as the Arab Islands, and as far north as County Gold. This diamond, coming up on our right hand side, was formed a very, very long time and is purely formed by sea erosion. The first stage of erosion would have worked out the cave. The next stage of the cave would go and get through a road right through the other side. And this would have created an archway coming out from the top of the cliff down onto the top of the sea. Over time then, the archway collapsed, and that's what left the sea side as we see it here. But this process happens over a very long period of time. We have seen some photographs of this stack in the late 1800s or early 1900s. And it looks very similar. The water here is very similar to the ice cream. Yeah, I know what it is. Currently, the vessel is operating in 120 feet of water. The height of the cliffs themselves at the tower is 702 feet or 220 meters. 
That's the last headline yeah. point that we pass. You're on our right-hand side. It's called Isle the Shallot. And Isle the Shallot means cliff of thorns. You see, every single place name in Ireland has a name. When the British were mapping out our country in the mid-1600s, they listened to what the local people were saying in our Gaelic dialect, and they phonetically wrote down what people were saying. So I'll just give you an example of some of the local towns and what they mean. We have a town very close to the called Liston Varna. And Liston Varna translates into the gap between the two forts or the two cities. List is getting for fort and do sport also.